Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my beginner's guide to Factorio. My name is Root Negative and let's get cracking. Today we're going to work on our power situation. As it is a little bit short, you can see that it's kind of fluctuating. It's like, mm, not quite enough power. And if we push things too much further, we'll enter a, a feedback loop where we'll have less power, which means we mine less coal, which means we have less power, which means we mine less coal, which, yeah, you get the idea. So what we need to do is we need to expand our power plant. And uh, to do that, we're basically just gonna duplicate this over. It's a fairly straightforward process. Um, once you build it the first time, it's, um, it's very, very easy to then come back and build it again. Now, what I'd like to do is, I like to set it up so that we have basically two banks, each independent of one another. Oops, it's a little bit off-sided. Each independent of one another, but, um, you know, linked. So it takes away a lot of the infrastructure requirements. So we've got our 10 steam engines here. We've got our 14 boilers. We're also going to need one, two, three, four, 14 burner inserters. Now we need to get some water. Oh, that's going to work out perfectly. We just need a few pipes here. Okay, so that's fine. Just need our burner inserters. And there we go. We have upgraded our power plant to 10 megawatts now. So we've just doubled our power. And this will do its thing. Now I've, uh, I've also upgraded uh, the smelting facility. I've uh, doubled our copper. And I've also doubled, uh, I've tripled rather, our, uh, our iron. Now, you'll notice though that this isn't working perfectly. Uh, whenever there's empty belts, uh, it means that something's not moving fast enough. And it's always the thing before it. So, because we have empty belts here, it means something before this isn't working fast enough. So what we need to do is we actually need to upgrade our mining supplies. So we need to increase the amount of um, iron ore and copper ore that we're mining. So let me just go and pick up a um, pick up some iron here, so that I can build some mines. Well, wow, you require a lot of them. Yeah. Sometimes it's worthwhile building, like pulling some some gear wheels out, so that it's easy to craft this kind of stuff. So keep that in mind. It is it is a uh, valid way of doing things. As most things are, uh, there's no one correct way to play Factorio. Uh, there's no, there's no one way that's that's perfect. Uh, you can you can play the game however you want. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put a kink in this because um, I like where the power uh, power pole is. Just join this in. Oh dear. Place this here. Oops, wait. I want this to work out nicely. Oop. Little bit of an error. Boom. Okay, so we've just uh, increased our copper mining. Now we need to do iron ore as well. So while we're here, we'll just uh, we'll just grab this little bad boy and throw him on as well. You know that that's six thousand uh, copper that could potentially uh, be smelted up. We might as well do it while we're here. Alrighty, let's uh, let's add in another bank of um, miners. That's covered. Okay, that's good. Uh, we will need to go to there. Need one more. Oh, we just have enough. Now these these little black patches, these are oil patches, and we'll come it will come to this very shortly. 
because oil is one of the next things that we actually need to look at doing. Once we've got uh, once we've got this uh, this sorted, though, what we will be moving on to is actually looking at steel. Steel is the next major item that needs to be uh, sorted. So that's that there. Just need to uh, get some power onto these. Now I may have uh, balls this up actually. Just notice that I have. Um... Ah. I placed them too close together. Because normally what I do is I run power lines in between. Let's see if we can do this right. Okay, there we go. I just need to adjust this. And the reason this works is the mining... The mining drills actually have an area. You can see that there's a green area around them. So because they extend one further... Uh, we can actually make, uh, make this work out quite nicely. Okay, there we go. Now we've almost got a full yellow belt here, so this is really, really good. Really happy with that. The idea is that we get this belt moving at full capacity, and that way we can just keep bolting on these arrays until we're, we're using a full yellow belt. We'll pick up some more iron. We'll go back and we'll add a few more miners to it. I think it could handle just a few more. See the copper is caught back up again, so that's good. Now them. One there, there, and here. And we'll also put one there. Go. So this this little outpost here, this is all fully, fully tapped, so we won't have to look at this again until it's time to come back and, and tear it up. I just want to have a look here. We're, ooh, we're so close to being fully compressed. Oh. We might actually... No, it's not quite there. No, maybe it is. Maybe it is there. There we go. So that's a full yellow belt, ladies and gentlemen. And that's how you do it. You just keep adding to it until it uh, is at the stage where you want it to. Right, so the next thing that we need to look at is steel. Steel production is um, fairly hefty. Because each, uh, each steel plate requires five iron plate. But it takes a, f a fair bit, fair bit of doing. And I notice that the factory has mostly stopped, and the reason for that is I have no research going. So we may, uh, we may as well start it up again. Um, so we'll start um, working through just some of the the green science um, items. Okay, so this here, this is going to be my steel smelter. Now what I'm going to do with the steel is when I'm finished with it, I'm going to bring it out here and run it like here-ish. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three. If we go one, two, three, it's like one, two, three. That's going to be our steel bus. And that, that will actually finish up our production bus. Like these, these will be the only items that we actually have on the production bus. Mm -hmm. We can reach good. Nothing else will go on a bus. Everything else will be made locally where we need it. Wonderful. We'll just keep smashing through the research. Whatever's next, that's what we do. 
So, uh, we need to yeah, work on a, a steel smelter here. Now then, what we're going to do is we need to get some fuel to it somehow. Now we've got fuel lines here and I think that just pinching one of them is the best solution. And we're almost, oh, we're almost out of belt. You know that 5,000 belt that I picked up a couple of episodes ago? Yeah, finally, finally got through it all. We'll, uh, we'll grab that. Right. Also need some stone or furnaces. Now the requirement for steel isn't huge. You don't need tons and tons and tons of it, but because it is such a, a large resource drain, the size of the, the actual smelting needs to be substantial. So what we're going to do is we are going to run with, um, I think 16 is probably a good number to begin with. Um, so let's, let's, let's build 16. Let's, let's do 16 and uh, go from there. We go one, two. I need more trees. And this is the other reason why I'd, I'd like to get steel set up. It's because it'll allow us to use different power poles. Now, looks like uh, we have our first biters. Now, these green circles um, won't be in your game. It's a debug thing, so don't worry about that. I'll actually turn them off in between the next break so that it isn't confusing. It's a tool that I use as a YouTuber to help me focus in on uh, building factories rather than fighting biters. So that's uh, 10 power poles. Um, hopefully that's enough. We're going to have both the fuel line and the output line. No, wait. The output lines are here. I think having the output line here is actually the right idea. Okay, so that's going to be the output line. And we just need to add another two furnaces to the end of this placed it too close. Outstanding. Now this is going to be the fuel line here. Now we could actually, we can actually potentially uh, double this up as well. So let's, let's do it. Let's, let's go ham. Let's uh, get another 16 furnaces queued up. Oop, hold on. And if we're going to double it up, I think that actually, um, yeah, if we're going to double it up, I think that we go with a design that's similar to what we've had down in our proper furnace. So have the fuel and the output line in between. So I have two lines in between. I think that's the best way of going. You use fuel belt that way. This is the fuel line. One will be the output line. I think actually we'll make it this one. Yeah, okay, we'll put that there. Okay, so we have our... Now I notice that um, that's going really slowly. Now the reason for that is I've actually worn out my tool. 
Oh, I need to build a new iron axe. So I just left click it and it builds me a new one. So now I can go back to doing what I was doing. <laughs> Just notice that if, if things, you know, feel really slow, just check that your tool hasn't uh, broken. Okie dokie. We'll get this all powered up. Okay. I've done that backwards. There we go. Excellent. Now I just need to get the fuel in. I think we'll be relatively easy. Yeah, I'm going to flip these over. I'm going to make that the output line. That way I can just bring the fuel straight in. I don't need to worry terribly much about um, you know, flipping it around or changing too much there. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got all that up and running now. I we'll just need to get some inserters up and running. And this should take care of the steel requirements, at least for the for the time being. So we're going to need some steel for different bits and pieces. Um, probably most importantly is going to be blue sides. That's probably the number one thing that we're going to need uh, steel for. So having a nice uh, a nice supply is going to be um, very very good. The other thing we can do with steel is we can actually upgrade our furnaces. So these furnaces we can change from stone furnaces into steel furnaces. So you can see here that the steel furnace. Now the crafting speed is twice as fast. So out of what we've built, we'll actually get twice as much in the same amount of time. Now I'm just pressing F and I'm just gathering up some inserters. I need more. I'm gonna go 15 and one. Okay, so that's going to go there, there. And the last thing that we'll need is some lights. Oh, I actually need more. Our research is going nicely. That was 5, 10, 15, and 1 is 16. And as I said, these things do take a bit of time to uh, to craft. Okay, but there we go. We have steel. We have steel up and running. And this second line is just in case I do add enough capacity in the future, I warrant having a, um, a second lot of smelters. Now something we should cover very very quickly is you'll notice that uh, heavy armor now is available. That was one of the researches that we did. So if we have 50 steel plate we can actually upgrade our armor. Which I'm pretty keen to do. There we go. We'll do that and ladies and gentlemen thank you much very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode and in the next episode we are probably going to uh, have a look at upgrading a few things and moving on to the beginnings of our um, Probably our oil, I think. But we're making good time. Look forward to seeing you then.